Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and this is question number four from the end of topic worksheet um, from my P3 collection. This is worksheet five, exponentials and logarithms. And this is a question taken from the Solomon A paper. Sorry, the Solomon A papers in um, like the old C3 collection from Edexcel. This is like a from the Edexcel syllabus. P3. So this question here is all about exponential logarithms. We're given these two equations, one in the form of, you know, e to the power of something. So this is an exponential function here. And we've given a logarithm function. And we have to solve these two equations simultaneously. So we're going to end up with x equals and y equals and a value to two decimal places for them both. Okay, so that's what we've got to do. We've got to, to solve these this pair of equations simultaneously. So there's a couple of things we could do. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is rewriting this equation in the form such that it will be in exponent form. Because I know that the log to the base a of b equals c can be rewritten as a to the power of c equals b. So if I first of all take this equation and I add 2y and 1 to both sides, I have lin of x plus 3 equals 2y plus 1. And remember, lin actually, all it means is log to the base e. So log to the base e of x plus 1 equals 2y plus 1. So log to the base e of x plus 3 equals 2y plus 1 can be rewritten as e to the power of 2y plus 1 equals x plus 3. And here I have the other equation, which is e to the power of 2y minus x plus 2 equals 0. So what I can do is I can replace the x here. If I rewrite this, um, I can replace the x here with e to the power of 2y plus 2. Because I know e to the power of 2y plus 2 is, equals x. So when you solve two equations simultaneously, um, you can basically substitute one of them into the other. So that's equation 1 and that's equation 2. So I've taken equation 1 and rewritten it. I've taken equation 2 and I've rewritten it. So I'm going to replace this x here with what x is equal from the other equation. So I'm left with e to the power of 2y plus 1 is equal to, and instead of x, I can write e to the power of 2y plus 2. Okay, I could do that. Or alternatively, which I think will probably be neater, is if I do the following, and I think this will probably be better, if I say that um, e to the power of 2y equals x minus 2, and I can rewrite this as e to the power of 2y times e to the power of 1. I think this will make, make life easy to find x, and then I can find y. Um, this will probably be better. So I can rewrite this, remember, from the laws of logarithms that a to the power of m plus n is actually a to the power of m times a to the power of n. The law of um, indices where when you uh, multiply two numbers in index form with the same base, you add the power. So this is the result of e to the power of 2y times e to the power of 1. Now what I can do is I can replace e to the power of 2y with x minus 2. And that looks a bit more friendly now. So I have x minus 2 times e equals x plus 3. So I can expand the bracket here. So I have e x minus 2 x equals x plus 3. And I can now bring the x's on one side of the, uh, sorry, minus 2 e. Going a bit too fast there. That's e times x minus 2 times e. So I can bring the x's on one side of the equation. I can do e x minus x equals 3 plus 2 e. I can take out x as common from these two terms. So I have x times e minus 1 equals 3 plus 2e. So I can say x equals 3 plus 2e over e minus 1. So that is um, something I can find the value of x from. I can actually stick that in my calculator and I can round it as they want. They didn't say exact, they said to two decimal places. If they said exact value, I'd leave it like this. But now what I can do is I can take my calculator and I can just put this in there and then write the value of it. So 3 plus 2, and E is this button um, on its own over here. Where's the E button gone? It's over there. So I press alpha and this. 
3 plus 2e over e minus 1. So shift and e. Oops, not pi. I need alpha. e minus 1. 3 plus 2e over e minus 1. And that gives us 4.90988. 4.90988 and they want it to to two decimal places so we can say x is equal to 4.91 okay now i can find what y is so i can um i know what x is now i can find what y is so now we have to do something to find y so i know if i take this i know that e to the power of 2y is equal to x minus 2 so I can say e to the power of 2y is equal to, let me take, take an exact form here. I could, I could take this decimal form if I wanted, but let me take an exact form. This is 3 plus 2e over e minus 1 minus 2. Now what I can do is I can take the lin of both sides in order to free this y from the power, in which case I'm going to get, um, if I take lin of this side, I'll have 2y equals, and I take lin of that side, I have the lin of all of this, 3 plus 2e over e minus 1 minus 2. And then y is going to be a half of all of that. So a half times a lin of 3 plus 2e over e minus 1 minus 2. Now if I put that in my calculator, I'm going to get my answer for y. So I've got this in my calculator. I'll store this as a. Right, so that this, this thing here is now a. So I'll just make a little note of it. This is A in my calculator. So now I'm going to... Now I'm going to put a half. Okay, um, times a lin of... I'll have A. So I'm going to bring back the A. Minus 2. And that's it. Okay, that's my A in my calculator. So half lin of A minus 2. And that gives us Y equals 0 0.53405. 0 0.53405. Count continues like that. Make sure. Yep. So therefore, to two decimal places, you have 0 0.53. So those are the values of X and Y to two decimal places as required in the question. So that's one way we've done that. We've basically rewritten um, this in exponent form. Okay. And then we have co combined the two equations. So we, we rewrote this one. And in exponent form, then we combine the two equations together. Um, we could have re rewritten this in lin form and then also came up with the answer. So um, maybe I'll just show you how to do that as well. Why not? Okay, so let me just take these two equations and bring them down there and show you how to do it this other way. Okay, so the alternative way of doing this is to take this equation and rewrite it in in um, lin form, in logarithm form. So I'll first of all make this the subject. That's going to be um, x minus 2. If I add x and subtract 2 from, from both sides, then I'm going to take the lin of both sides. So I'll have 2y equals the lin of x minus 2. So y equals a half lin of x minus 2. Okay, so what I can do now, in fact, I can just take this, this form of it here, and I can replace the 2y with lin of x minus 2, because 2y is equal to that. So I can now combine these equations by substituting, instead of 2y, lin x minus 2. So I have lin x plus 3 minus 2 times, well, it's basically lin of x minus 2 and I'll just add 1 to both sides equals 1. I can combine these two together as 1 lin so I have x plus 3 over x minus 2 equals 1 and we know that this means log to the base e of all of this equals 1 so now I can write this in index form in which case x plus 3 over x minus 2 is equal to e so I have x plus 3 equals e times x minus 2. So again, almost the same thing as before. Well, it's the same thing as before now. So you have e x minus 2 e. Bring the x's together. So you have x minus e x. In fact, to make it look neater, I will do 3 plus 2 e equals e x minus x. So 3 plus 2 e equals x times 
e minus 1. So x will be 3 plus 2e over e minus 1. If I had put in the other side, I would have ended up with minus 3 minus 2e over 1 minus e, which is the same thing, but it just looks neater like this. And I think that's exactly the same answer that we got before. 3 plus 2e over e minus 1. 3 plus, yes, so x is equal to the same exact amount, of course, which is 4.91 to 2 decimal places. So that's, maybe this was even easier, an easier way of doing it, but either way of, uh, is okay. And to find y, again, once we've, once we've done that, we can say y equals a half times a lin of what we just found, 3 plus 2e over e minus 1 minus, which is exactly the same as what we did up here. Okay, once we found what, um, x's we can put into this equation here which is already written in lin form and then we can find what y is which was 0 0.53 so two different ways of answering the question either making them both into um the, the, in terms of exponentials or make them both logarithms so the one that's exponential i turned into logarithm here and then i substituted this equation into that equation i got the same answer in either case. So that's how you deal with such a question as one of the students was requesting me to answer it. So um, other questions from the Solomon AP3 um, collection or old C3 collection can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. Other questions from this particular end of to topic of worksheet from my P3 um, um, worksheet number five exponential logarithms can be found in the playlist over here. You can um, find other questions to do with exponential logarithms from my P3 material in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and the card that is showing up during the video at the top here shows you how to use my channel to find things that you might be looking for, whether it's IGCSE, A-level, Cambridge, Excel, whatever you're looking for, whatever I have, you can find out how to find it in watching that video. Thank you for watching and see you soon.